everybody, it's Michael with Total Physical Therapy, and on this episode of Total Talk, we are discussing everything related to spinal disc problems, commonly referred to as bulging discs, ruptured disc, sequestered disc, displaced disc, crushed disc, and the list goes on and on. So what do all those things mean to you? And better yet, what are your options and how do you resolve your symptoms? Now, there's not a condition that we see more frequently in our facility than lower back pain, and the majority of those cases are lower back disc issues. So in a case where I have an individual ask me, can you help me with my disc problem? I have to dig deeper than that, because when we talk about a disc problem, we're not talking about the whole truth. The reality of the nature is, our bodies, including yours, and yes, including mine, over the course of our lifespan is going to wear and tear. That's just the nature of being a human being. And the numbers are convincing. By the time we reach 50 years of age, over 50% of the population already has a condition uh, referred to as degenerative changes of the spine, including our discs. Those numbers are going to skyrocket over the, fall, or over the coming decades and by the time we reach our mid to late seventh decade of life and extending into our eighth and ninth decade of life, essentially 90% of the population is going to have a disc related degenerative change of the spine. Now nomenclature comes into play here and I bring in, although I'm a bit reluctant to bring in the word, a degenerative disc disease. I hate the nomenclature. I wish we could make it become extinct. The reason I hate it is because of the numbers that I just suggested. Over 50% of the population already has evidence of this by the age of 50 and proportionally over the coming decades that will skyrocket to essentially become 9 out of 10 people. So while it becomes prevalent in the human species, what is the bigger picture here? What are we really looking at? we're really looking at symptoms and while the proportion of disc degenerative spinal problems uh, rapidly increase over our fifth through uh, tenth decade of life the percentage of the population that actually reports spinal related pain increases but at a much slower rate so this disproportionate increase to the percentage of the population with the de degenerative spine disease and a symptomatic presentation is just misleading the public. So if you've had imaging studies or you've had any type of healthcare provider suggest that you have degenerative disc disease and therefore that is the reason for your pain, I encourage you to ask more questions. This is something that needs to become extinct and these are the reasons why. To understand this, let's first talk about the anatomy of the spine. If you look at the spine from the neck down to your tail, you're going to have the same exact repeating pattern where we have a bone followed by a disc followed by another bone. So if we have two bones separated by a disc, what purpose does the disc serve? The disc basically serves two major purposes. Number one, it acts as a spacer. It's going to act as a gap to take those two bones and prevent them from fully collapsing on one another. Number two, it acts like a shock absorber, much on the shocks of your bicycle or your vehicle. The better hydrated these discs are, the better equipped they are to actually gap and, um, and support and cushion the load that your body is going to put on and that your activities are going to put on the spine. So when someone walks in and asks, can you help me with my disc problem? I'm going to ask more questions. I want to know what their symptoms are, how long they've been present, what they feel like is contributing to their symptoms, what they can do to help relieve their own symptoms, and what they've already tried, and what the results of those interventions have been. Because if we're going to look at this from a holistic approach, we need to look beyond the mechanical nature of back pain. It is the third most common problem presented in medical offices behind cardiovascular disease and cancer lies lower back pain. So if it's the third most common 
condition seen in medical offices, then we need to get beyond this belief system that an anatomical problem leads to a mechanical dysfunction creating your symptoms. So in further episodes of TPT Talk, I am going to discuss in more detail what you can do about your disc problems and how you can safeguard against the increasing likelihood that something may present itself in later decades of life. Thanks for joining on. If you enjoyed the video, comment down below. Ask us any questions that you want me to answer on future episodes of Total Talk. Thanks guys.